Sometimes when subtracting mixed numbers, you are going to encounter some problems where the fraction part of the mixed number on the bottom is too large to subtract from the fraction portion at the top. If you come across a situation like this, there are two ways to handle the situation. One method is by using the borrowing method, and another method is by using the renaming method. Let's start by demonstrating the borrowing method. The first thing you have to do is find the lowest common denominator. The lowest common denominator of 4 and 5 is 20. Now notice the 5 at the bottom increased by a factor of 4, so we are going to increase the numerator of 3 by a factor of 4 as well, so the new fraction that we write is equivalent to 3 fifths. And that gives us 12 twentieths. Now at the top, the denominator of 4 increased by a factor of 5 to get our common denominator, so we must increase our numerator by a factor of 5 as well to write an equivalent fraction, and that would give us a numerator of 5. Notice that the fraction on the bottom, 12 twentieths, is too large to subtract from the fraction 5 twentieths at the top. So what we are going to do is borrow one whole from the 5 and add that whole to 5 twentieths to make the value of that top fraction larger. Now when we borrow one whole from the number 5 to add that whole to 5 twentieths, we have to rewrite it as a fraction and use the same denominator that is already given. Because the denominator is in terms of 20 we have to write 20 over 20, which is the same thing as one whole. And 5 20 plus 20 20 is 25 20 Now that the top fraction is larger than the bottom fraction, we are going to find the difference of the two numerators. 25 take away 12 gives us 13. And remember, the denominator stays the same when adding or subtracting fractions. So the difference of 25 20 and 12 20 is 13 20 Now to subtract the whole numbers, 4 take away 3 is 1. So our answer is 1 and 13 20 Now let's solve the same problem using the renaming method. The first step in the renaming method is to simply take each of the mixed numbers and rename them as improper fractions. When renaming mixed numbers as improper fractions, start off by simply rewriting the same denominator. Later we will find a common denominator, but for now, just rewrite the 4 as a number 4 and the 5 as a number 5. So let's take 5 and 1 fourths first. After writing a denominator of 4, we have to figure out what our numerator is. To get our numerator, we have to do two things. You take the denominator of the mixed number and multiply it by the whole number. 4 times 5 is 20. And then you take that product and add the numerator to that. And 20 plus 1 is 21. So after renaming 5 and 1 fourths as an improper fraction, we get 21 over 4. And to change 3 and 3 fifths into an improper fraction, simply rewrite the denominator as the same thing. And to get your numerator, multiply 5 times 3, which is 15. And then add the numerator to that, which is 18. So now we have two improper fractions, 21 over 4 and 18 over 5. But you cannot subtract them yet because we do not have a common denominator. So our next step is to find a common denominator. 20 is the lowest common denominator of 4 and 5. So we are going to rewrite a new fraction with 20 as a denominator. On the top, the 4 increased by a factor of 5, so we are going to increase the numerator of 21 also by a factor of 5, which gives us 105. And on the bottom, the 5 increased by a factor of 4, so we are going to increase 18 also by a factor of 4, which gives us 72. The next thing that we have to do is subtract the numerators. 105 take away 72 is 33. And remember, the denominator stays the same. Now, 33 over 20 is an improper fraction, and we cannot leave our answer in an improper format. So what we're going to do is change that into a mixed number. To change any improper fraction into a mixed number, we can use division. 33 divided by 20 is one whole with the remainder of 13. The remainder will become your numerator, and the divisor of 20 will be your denominator. So we can say that 33 20 is the same thing as 1 and 13 20 
And that is how you can subtract two mixed numbers by using the renaming method.